Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys and welcome here today to your complete preview for the month of April which is massive, absolutely huge the coming month of April simply because in that month you will decide who progresses in the Champions League. In that month you will gain the momentum you need to go and guarantee the La Liga title. There are massive games, absolutely crucial games to come for Barcelona and I have to say there's a lot of them. We have a lot of games in April, there's so much to discuss, so much needs to be analysed, where do you rest, where do you not rest, when do you play your strongest team, how long can you play these players for before they need that rest, all of that discussed in today's preview. Let's do this! And we'll start first of all by giving you an overview of the month of April for Barcelona, in which we will play eight matches of football over a period there of just 25 days in total. Six of those games will be in La Liga, and two of those games will be massive in the UEFA Champions League. We'll play four home games in the month of April, as well as four away games, so a direct split there between home and away games, exactly the same. And that 25-day period will see us play one game every 3.1 days. So very near there to a game every three days. That is really high demand on these players and no doubt about it. In this month, we're going to have to see full use of our squad. There is no question about that. There has to be some rotation. And what you also have to remember here when you're talking about La Liga is that both Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid no longer have Champions League commitments in the month to come, following, of course, their eliminations in the last round of the Champions League. And certainly throughout this month, they'll have the advantage of being able to prepare longer for games. They'll have longer rest, they'll have a lot less on their mind and no Champions League distractions which should put us on the back foot in La Liga. But a bit of clever management, a bit of nice rotation here from Valverde could just keep us clear of the chasing pack in the month to come. It will all happen! Let's talk about it. And so, on the 2nd of April, this coming midweek, on Tuesday, it begins away at Villarreal, which will certainly not be an easy game, even though right now they're currently in 17th place in La Liga. Really, really close to the relegation zone. They've had a catastrophic season, but still, you know, they've got a good team. They've got a good squad. They play good football. It's a real surprise to see them that low, and they're going to fight. They're really going to fight hard for the points on Tuesday. But at the same time, when you look at the games we've got coming up, particularly after this game, Atletico, then the Champions League. You feel in this kind of game here, we might have to see a bit of early rotation from Valverde. We saw a very strong team on the weekend against Espanyol, a quick turnaround there Saturday, now Tuesday against Villarreal, away from home, it might be difficult, but at the same time, against Atletico, we're going to see a strong team, against United, we're going to see a strong team, so maybe here against Villarreal, it's the only chance we've got really to see a bit of rotation. Because four days after that game on Saturday, the 6th of April, it's Barcelona against Atletico Madrid in La Liga, which will be colossal, absolutely huge to seeing which way the La Liga title goes in the coming season. If we beat Atletico Madrid there, as well as getting a result against Villarreal, we could find ourselves 13 points clear of our closest rivals. And that would be unbelievable. That would be a massive, massive gap. And what that would actually do is take the pressure off us for the month, for the rest of the month to come. We can almost then ease off just a little bit it simply because if you beat Atletico, if you really there beat our closest challenges, that would be a massive step towards securing that La Liga title and then allowing us a bit of breathing space going forward. Because four days after that game, depending on what lineup Valverde chooses, will he go strong against Atletico? Will we see all of our key players in that game? Four days later, Wednesday, the 10th of April, the biggest game of our season has arrived. Manchester United against Barcelona in the UEFA Champions League quarter-final first leg live from Old Trafford and that game there that game is where we need to arrive and be on it from the word go every single player coming into that game needs to be feeling good needs to be feeling confident fully trusting in their body and their ability to go out there and secure our place in the Champions League semi-final you've got to go there to Old Trafford and you've got to get a result you can't go there and lose the game and expect to just turn it around in the second leg it will not be that simple we need to go there away from home in that first leg and be convincing and that is why going into that game we have to make sure we've made the right decisions and our squad needs to be ready. And then following that game, the drama certainly continues because only three days after that game on Saturday the 13th of April, which happens to be my birthday. And on my birthday, we have not always had brilliant results. I'll tell you that. Certainly, it's not always been brilliant for me. We will play, though, Huesca, the bottom side in La Liga, the basement team knocking on the door of relegation. Right now, they're certainly a team that you'll be quite happy to face. And of course, in the reverse fixture, earlier on in the season back at the camp now, we scored eight times against Huesca in that game. And it's 
it's a huge, huge turnaround. Three days, United, then playing Huesca, away from home again, two away games in very quick succession. And again there, you feel like you've got to rotate. Because against Atletico, we're probably going to play a strong team. Against Man United, obviously, we're going to play a strong team. And then you can't really do that three times in one week. Such quick succession. Two away games as well. We have to see rotation here. Against Huesca, you could probably get away with it. And especially given, once again, after that Huesca game, three days later, Tuesday, 16th of April, it's the second leg. The decisive second leg. Barcelona against Manchester United, live from the camp now in the Champions League quarterfinal. And that then, that will be huge. We will have to there guarantee our place in the semi-finals. Something that we want more than anything else. And again, you've got to make sure going into that game, you're absolutely right. That will certainly mean some rotation, some serious rotation, I would imagine, against Huesca to be right for that game. We won't know, of course, right now what position we're going to be going in. Hopefully, we're going into that second leg with a lead. That would be absolutely unbelievable. At the very least, with an away goal to fall back on. We need to go into that game there knowing that it's in our own hands. In our own hands. In our own stadium. To eliminate Manchester United. But the action does not stop there. Following that second leg, four days rest then. Saturday, the 20th of April, Barcelona will host once again two home games there in a row. It'll be Real Sociedad visiting the camp now. They are currently mid-table, having a decent season. They're always a good side. Home and away, it's always tough to face Real Sociedad. And going into that game, again, it's not going to be an easy one. And once again, then, it's quick succession again. Three days rest, Tuesday, 23rd of April, another tough game in La Liga, this time away to Alaves under Abelardo. They have been absolutely sensational this season. They're currently in sixth place in La Liga. It is not going to be an easy game, no doubt about that. That'll be tricky. And then four days later, our final game of April, 27th, it's Barcelona against Levante, currently lying in 15th place. And that there at the cap now should be a more comfortable game, but that could be coming before a semi-final match. Potentially, of course, we'll be hoping to be there, and if we do get through to the Champions League semi-final, that game there will take place on either the 30th of April or the 1st of May, and of course, we'll be hoping that our name is in the hat to face either Porto or Liverpool in that encounter. But as you know, guys, in these kind of videos, what I like to do is see how everybody else is going to be getting on in April. What has everybody else got to come in the month to come? For example, when you look at Man United's fixtures just around the time where they are going to be playing us in those decisive first and second legs. You look at them there against Wolves on the 2nd of April. That's the same time there we're going to be playing Villarreal away. But after that game, when we're going to be playing Atletico on that weekend, they have nobody. They will have there a full eight days of rest while they face us in the first leg, knowing to the fact they're not in the FA Cup, knocked out of that, and for that reason, they're going to have a nice rest in the build-up to that first leg, but the second leg, no such rest will exist. They're going to be playing also on the Saturday, on the 13th, having just as much rest as we will, going into that decisive second leg, and that there is how United is going to be facing up as they approach those crucial games for them too. But as far as La Liga is concerned, and our closest rivals as of right now, Atletico Madrid, they'll be facing Girona there at home, Barcelona away, Celta Vigo at home, Eibar away, Valencia at home, and then Valladolid at home as well. Successive home games there for Atletico Madrid at the end of the month, as opposed to Real Madrid, who play Valencia away, Eibar at home, Leganes away, Atletico at home, and then two successive away games, Hatafe away, which will not be easy, and then Ryan. Viacano to finish their month. So certainly some games in there for both Real and Atletico that might test them in the month to come. And on paper, we always like to see who's got the hardest games. When you look at the league positions of those upcoming opponents, the six teams that we have in La Liga, as opposed to Atletico's and Real Madrid's, on paper, we do have the easiest fixtures in the month to come. As you can see here, the average position of our upcoming six opponents works out at around 11.6th place in La Liga. So we're looking there just just below 12th place in La Liga is the average place of our upcoming opponents in the month of April, whereas Atletico's come out at 10.8, so just lower there than 11th in La Liga, and Real Madrid's even more difficult there. They average their opponents coming up around 10th place in La Liga, so about mid-table. But very, very close there between the three teams. All teams will have tests, no doubt about it. There's going to be twists, there's going to be turns. Our mind, of course, is going to be primarily on the Champions League. We've got to make sure, though, that we're battling on all of those fronts by using that squad. That is the big, big message here for Ernesto Valverde. You have to
to know when to rotate and when not to. Those Champions League games are so, so vital in our season. Everything that we've worked for comes down to those two games against United. Atletico Madrid at home is going to be absolutely massive as well. You look at that Villarreal game, you look at the Huesca game, those are two big games there that I feel, looking at those, you can rotate. You'll have to do something to refresh the squad. But let me know your thoughts, guys. What do you think we need to do? What do you think we need to be seeing in the month of April to really get the rest of our team, to get the rest of those players and make sure that at the end of it, we are still battling on all fronts. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. I'll look forward to receiving your thoughts as always. I'll be back, of course, tomorrow with the match preview for Villarreal against Barcelona. That is a big, big game, no doubt about it. But will we see some rotation from Ernesto Valverde? I'll see you tomorrow. But until then, as always, Vesca El Barca. Ooh.